try to explain to our viewers what the difference is. What What do you feel about? You like being a professional athlete? I love it. Honestly, okay. it's probably okay. it's, it's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah. I will say that the biggest difference. There's a lot of differences, but one of the biggest things is, well, one of the training and in, the training intensity and even the race intensity. Yeah. So if I was in high school, you know, in high school, I never ran faster than 50 seconds in a 400 in practice. Okay. But I was running 45 because we just raced all the time. And it's a little bit different in training or in, in a, as a professional, like I've run 45 seconds in training multiple wow. times. Wow. Where it's like, uh, like, you know, even for like distances that are like 420 and, and like 450 and stuff like that, like asking, if he asks us to come through at a time, it's never like a, I can't run that fast. It's almost just expected. Like you don't yeah. say, I can't run that fast. So <laughs> yeah. you just yeah. feel it. So there are times where he will, like if something can be your PR, he might actually come through faster than your PR. Wow. Or something like that. Like just as whereas like I've seen, you know, some of our like multiple of our guys run nineteen seconds in practice and like you know, things like that. So it's just kinda wow. expected of you. So because training like that is so much different than going out and, you know, never running faster than forty I mean fifty seconds in practice. Sure. It, it's like a like it's a whole different thing. So I think the biggest thing being a pro is also like being healthy because like if you can train well, you don't have to hit like every day fast. Yeah. But you hit like a couple of days fast and you're just healthy, you'll go out and you run fast. So like even like transitioning, that was very hard for me to grasp because before I would just like to run all my workouts like fast. So like if coach gave me a time, it's like, well, if I run faster this time, then I'll run faster in the races. But yeah. it doesn't necessarily work like that on this level where it's or the way that he trains us, where it's like if you're actually running faster in the time, it probably is going to be detrimental for you and it can hurt you in a lot of ways more than it'll help you. Like he's asked, he's telling you to run the time for a reason. So like, if you want to run faster, like if he tells us to run, you know, 33 seconds in a 300 in practice and we have like a workout, then, you know, he doesn't want you to come through at 32 flat or 31 nine or whatever. He wants you to come through at 33. <laughs> so if you go out, and you run 32 or 31 or something like that, it's going to hurt the rest of the workout and it's going to potentially hurt you and like, you know, like your muscles. Cause you know, we still have to lift and stuff like that. So other really? workouts and it just piles on. So it's like, that's something that I had a problem with before where I would go and I try to like, you know, do every workout, like almost like, you know, more where like this year, especially I went and I was like, okay, if I don't feel good, <laughs> I'm not doing it, like, which yeah. he, he asked for me. And yeah. at the same time, it's like, you know, just hit the times, like, do what he asks, don't do more. Okay. Because, like, he's training us to run a certain time. And, you, and, you know, the time's usually fast. <laughs> he's not training us to run slow. 